uh, uh, with your permission, I would like to upload uh, my presentation. Yeah, uh, you all know that you now all the uh, my previous speakers you know they have talked about the issues with regard to the data, uh, the data availability, accuracy, and transparency, and also some of the speakers raised about the the the, the climate uh, modeling, in particular the regional climate model, and as well as the regional cooperation. Uh, in my uh, brief talk, I would like to address some of these issues uh, uh, and also uh, demonstrate some of the tools that we have developed now to provide. Uh, uh, ocean data and information, which is a key element of uh, uh, blue economy. Uh, 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 myself, I am uh, uh, Patabi Ramara. I'm the group director at Indian National Center for uh, Ocean Information and Advisory Services, and I am responsible for uh, implementation of ocean observations, as well as uh, modeling and uh, uh, data assimilation activities at Minkois. So ocean observation and uh, in ocean observations, information and advisory services uh, play a critical role in uh, securing lives and livelihoods of uh, uh, communities and also in achieving the goals envisaged in the blue economy framework as well as a sustainable development goal that is fourteen life uh, under the water and also the united nations uh, decade of ocean science for sustainable uh, development so the indian national center for ocean information services has the mandate to provide ocean observation information and advisory services so the services that uh, we provide uh, are uh, of different nature. One is the ecosystem services, where we provide the potential fishing zone advisory services to the fishing community. Now we are also giving the species specific focus. And we another service provided by INCAIS is uh, coral bleaching alert and uh, harmful algal bloom uh, uh, services. And now we are also starting the coastal water quality advisory services, mainly to support this uh, coastal tourism. And we have uh, uh, ocean state forecast services, now which uh, actually supports the safe navigation and safe operations at the sea, where we use the suit of models and generate uh, daily forecast of uh, sea conditions for the next uh, five to seven days. And we also provide the disaster related warning services like tsunami, storm surge, high waves, and also previous speakers they have mentioned, uh, oil spill uh, related things. So we also provide the oil spill track advisory services using the, the models as well as the uh, uh, data that is coming from institute observations as well as uh, remote sensing. So now we are embarking on uh, providing ocean climate change advisory services, which we have initiated this year as part of the deep ocean mission implemented by government of India. So we are going to develop uh, 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 future projections of the sea level change. Uh, where we are going to work on regional uh, models. And in particular, we would like to provide these advisory services at the regional level in particular for India. But when uh, we are covering this Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea, we'll be covering uh, the, the, the countries that are present here, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh also. Uh, other important service where uh, uh, blue economy is concerned, no, very important is marine spatial planning. So we also uh, work on the coastal geospatial services, like you now we develop the coastal vulnerability indices, multi-hazard vulnerability mappings, and 3D GIS, three-dimensional geographical information system, particularly for some of the highly vulnerable coastal areas, you now which are uh, having, uh, which are uh, vulnerable to tsunamis and storm surges, uh, where we can uh, uh, use these maps for estimation of inundation and also risk assessment. So another important service uh, uh, we provide is the data web-based services. And other thing when it comes to the regional cooperation, uh, we have uh, established the International Training Center for Operational Oceanography, uh, 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 which has been designated as the category two center by IOC UNESCO, where we are uh, uh, providing training to Indian Ocean Rim countries in all the uh, areas which I have uh, mentioned uh, uh, earlier. Uh, and so far we have uh, uh, trained about 4,250 4, uh, uh, professionals from 75 uh, uh, IOC member states. And we have all the national infrastructure network in terms of uh, observations, both in situ and remote sensing. We do have the satellite oceanography and also ocean science and modeling. Uh, and the stakeholders include uh, right from fishing community, uh, uh, coastal states, med departments, and strategic uh, like Defense Navy and uh, uh, National Hydrographic Office and Coast Guards. We do have uh, 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 routine uh, uh, services uh, for ports and harbors, and also we work uh, customized services for ports and harbors, and as well as now uh, oil and glass platforms also. 
and we do work with research institutions and uh, academia uh, in uh, uh, improving our services. Uh, and to provide these services, uh, India has established the Ocean Observing Network on the left hand side top uh, panel. You can see that the, the Ocean Observing Network that is being implemented by uh, INCOIS jointly with uh, various national institutions. We have a wide variety of ocean observing network providing different parameters from the ocean and also it's complemented by uh, uh, remote sensing observations of Indian as well as uh, foreign satellites. Uh, as you all know that you know, the Indian Ocean is uh, so very important. It has uh, a very critical uh, 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 geographical feature uh, and uh, many countries are uh, interested in uh, 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 observing this ocean uh, to uh, find uh, uh, various oceanographic processes uh, uh, and understanding this process and its impact on the various uh, 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 weather and climate uh, 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 processes. So many other countries also we uh, uh, deployed this ocean observing system in the Indian Ocean and uh, as a uh, as a center in, uh, we also receive data from all these observing networks that are deployed by various other countries and also we are part of various international uh, programs. When it comes to uh, uh, the data, uh, actually INCOIS has been designated as the central repository for the oceanographic uh, data in the country by the Ministry of Health Sciences. And we also have been designated as the National Oceanographic Data Center by IOC UNESCO. Uh, we have the responsibility to uh, receive this data in real time, uh, uh, process it, quality control it, and then disseminate it in real, real time. Most of the observing systems we receive in real time. And then after the real time quality control checks, we provide it to the operational agencies in real time. And also we do the uh, uh, quality control checks. So we are part of international data management teams as well as the scientific steering teams of these uh, uh, international uh, ocean observing uh, platforms where we ensure the quality and accuracy of these data. So we also host a different international uh, uh, data centers. So as part of our uh, uh, data management activities uh, to provide this data to users, wide spectrum of users, we have developed uh, a digital ocean, which is an innovative web application to manage and visualize the data in multidisciplinary way. And also it provides uh, the user to uh, visualize the data in multidimensional view. Can uh, have two dimensional, three dimensional, or add the fourth dimensional, or add uh, uh, time with uh, which becomes the multidimensional. So these tools are available for the users you know, uh, uh, for effective utilization of these data for their research. And also we have developed some of the scientific tools which a common user cannot uh, analyze this data. Uh, the tools are inbuilt into this digital ocean. So this is one very important uh, 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 tool which we have developed uh, uh, using this information and communication technology advancements. So another important initiative when we talk about the oceans, no, uh, uh, the Ministry of Earth Sciences also deals with uh, uh, a variety of projects no, through its uh, institutions uh, relating to atmosphere, ocean, polar sciences, and geosciences. We have also developed the S system science data portal where we are trying to integrate all these data from all these disciplines into a single platforms and provide the metadata and the user will be diverted to uh, uh, different uh, themes like uh, uh, when we are talking about the blue economy, uh, the data which INCAIS hosts is mostly the physical, but when it comes to the coastal or marine, marine ribbing resources, uh, our other sister concerns like uh, National Center for Coastal Research, uh, uh, which does the coastal uh, uh, area, uh, coastal zone man management, and also Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology, where we have this uh, uh, data on the marine living resources. So this particular data, uh, the website, will uh, provide the metadata on the data collected uh, uh, by various institutes that are involved in uh, ocean as well as uh, the coastal related things. So user can get this data uh, on uh, various aspects of uh, uh, various aspects under the earth system science. So in addition to that one, uh, this, uh, in addition to the data, Inca is also as uh, by leveraging this information and communication technologies has developed, by, developed the state of the art uh, website to provide the ocean information and advisory services, which I have mentioned in my uh, previous uh, slide. So all these services are available, readily available at uh, uh, fingertips of the user. So now coming to the, uh, uh, the blue economy, we know that you know, there is a ocean of data and uh, several institutions uh, in India, as well as in the region know that uh, they generate uh, so much of data uh, uh, which has got multidisciplinary, which is uh, relevant to key areas of the blue economy. 
Uh, when I talk about uh, other key areas of the blue economy, like you now we are talking about the fisheries and, uh, 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 and other uh, things, but uh, we also talked about the blue energy. Uh, uh, but whatever we, uh, the initiative we consider under the blue economy, it needs the data. So many of these agencies uh, uh, in India uh, uh, from other ministries, you know, they develop uh, data uh, of uh, uh, key areas of blue economy, like uh, sustainable uh, use of living resources, uh, where we have uh, some of the institutions mineral and energy resources, uh, deep ocean technology for harnessing resources, shipping and ports, and we have the uh, uh, early warnings for ocean energetic disasters, both in CAIS and IMD provides, and coastal zone management and maritime uh, spatial planning, coastal tourism, survey and mapping. So there are several institutions under several ministries, you know, they generate a huge amount of data. When you talk about the blue economy, it is very important that we need to have a national framework uh, to integrate all these environmental, societal, and economic data from all these uh, stakeholders uh, to stimulate this blue economy. And we, have, we also have to leverage information and com communication technology uh, for effectively and efficiently using this data for decision making and uh, policy matters. So I think with this uh, few uh, things, now I would like to conclude my presentation. Any questions, please? Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. D Dr. Rao. Always good to know that in these uh, difficult uh, problems where we have to navigate, we have, uh, we have tools to help us navigate. Uh, <clears throat> we'll revert to you. Uh, as I was saying, uh, it would be good to consider how we can share uh, a, a few aspects. Uh, then I understand that some of your tools are um, on your platform already. No need to duplicate that and are you know, restrict, restricted to your users or that you have a user system, which is perfectly fair and understandable, but <clears throat> whatever you want, be in a position to, to share to also widespread, make the, the information more widespread and possibly intrigue new users uh, is of essence. <clears throat> These are some tools we could discuss again in the next workshop uh, with, as I was saying, the maritime cluster in France might be interested. I mean, we will have some follow-ups on that 